Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 28 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. In this one, we know the wave's frequency and speed, right? First one, we need to find the wavelength. As we know, wavelength is the distance it's traveled for one circle. So use the speed times the period. And period is 1 over frequency, 1 over f. So in this one, we can get the uh, wavelength v over f input v and f inside get answer there the next one will ask you how much time is required for the phase to change by 90 degree so now we can see um how much time for the uh phase changed by 90 degree first one we can consider the phase changed by one period is uh, 2 pi do you agree 2 pi then 90 degree over 2 pi is how much the ratio of period it changes, right? So now 90 degree over 316 degree, this one is called 2 pi, is one quarter of period it need. So now we find the time need to change 90 degree is just one quarter of the period. There you can see frequency is given, one over frequency is period. So we can input frequency is a time t there. The next one asks you to find the phase difference in degree and uh, between two points, 4.4 cm apart. So we can see for phase, phase shift, phase difference is how much angle it changes, right? So that means use angular velocity times the t, time taken. The angular velocity omega is easy, it's 2 pi over t, just the 2 pi f. This one is very easy, we can find it easily because f is given. Next one, we need to find t, how much time it takes, right? So now we can see the distance it traveled is 4.4 cm. This is delta x. And then we also know the speed of this wave. Use the distance over the speed, we can get the time t it is required. Now we input the omega and t inside. So omega and t inside. We can get the function look like this one, agree? And then we input all the loan quantities, get answer there. Thank you.